Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you a technique which you can use in computer programming to solve certain problems and the technique works with arrays. So in computer programming you might be given certain problems where you're given an array and initially all the elements of the array are zero. So initially the array is filled with nothing but zero. And so you'll be given an array of size n and initially everything in the array is zero. Then you'll be given some operations that you need to do. So you'll be given p operation so you'll be given p operations and in each operation what you can do is you'll be given three variables so you'll be given l r and k you'll be given these three variables and what you need to do is from l to r so from l to r you need to add k to the array so basically you'll be given a range from l to r and in the range in each element of the array you want to add k to it for example if you're given 0 5 and 2 then from 0 to 5 you want to add 2 to the array and if I write the indices here this will be the 0 index this will be the first second third fourth fifth sixth so 0 to 5 you want to add 2 so here to here you want to add 2 to the array so like this you have to perform p operations in each operation you will be given l r and k and in l to r in the range l to r you have to add k to the array and after these operations, you have to print the new array. So you have to print the new array after these operations. Okay. So a brute force approach of doing this, a uh, very simple brute force approach of doing this is using a for loop, right? So all you need to do is uh, in each operation, in each operation, when you're given L, R, N, K, all you need to do is have a for loop. So you need to just have a for loop and in the for loop i goes from i goes from l to r and then all you need to do is you need to just say a of i a of i is equal to a of i plus k right so the brute force approach is just in each operation read l r and k run a loop from l to r i from l to r and just say a of i is equal to a of i plus k so this is a very simple brute force approach but what is the time complexity of this what will be the time taken for this let's see so obviously we have p operation so p will be there in each operation we're running a loop so multiplied and loop is from l to r what will be the max value from l to r it will be n because l can be 0 r can be the last value so this will be n maximum so the maximum time complexity will be o of p into n and if the constraints are too tight and if there's too many operation then this will give you TLE this will give you time limit exceeded so we need to find a better way of doing this doing what whatever the array we're given the operations L and L R and K we have to add K from L to R and we need to find a better way of doing this without using the for loop and this is where the technique comes in and the technique is array manipulations okay you might have heard of this before but if you haven't basically we'll be using the concept of prefix some array so let me just take this copy this the array that we were given initially so let me just copy this and paste it here and let's take some operations let's take some operation so an operation can be 1 4 and 2 meaning that from 1 to 4 we have to add 2 so let me just do that 2 2 2 right so after this operation the array will become this from 1 to 4 I just added 2 and then suppose another operation is 3 to 5 and adding 3 so meaning that from 3 to 5 I want to add 3 so if I add 3 this will become 5 this will become 5 this will become 3 so after doing these two operations, the array will look something like this and then there can be other operations as well so how can we do this let's see so let me just copy that again to show you how we can do this using the technique so this was my earlier array right now let me show you how i can perform these operations without a for loop using my technique array manipulations so what i'll do in uh, each operation so in each operation what i'll do is i'll say a of l plus equal to k and a of r plus one a of r plus one minus equal to k okay so at the lth position i'm adding k and at the r plus first position i'm subtracting k so i don't have a loop you can see in each operation i'm just doing two uh, i'm just doing two things a of l plus equal to k and a of r plus one minus equal to k why i'm doing this you'll just see 
in a minute. But for now, let's just see and let's just do this and see what happens to my array. So first operation is 1, 4 and 2. So like I said, a of l plus equal to k. So meaning that at the first position, I'll add 2. So here I'll add 2 and at the r plus 1, meaning at the fifth position, I want to subtract k. The fifth position, I'll subtract 2. So it will become minus 2, right? So this is the result of first operation. Let's do the second operation. So the second operation is 3, 5 and 3. So a of l plus equal to 3. a of l, l is 3. So this will become 3, right? And a of 5 plus 1, like I said, a of r plus 1 minus equal to k. So a of 6 minus equal to k. So this will be minus 3. So this is the result of my operations. You can We can have more operations, but in each operation, this is what I'll be doing basically. Now, now I, what, I, what I'm going to do after I've done all these operations, I'll just for each element, I'll add it, I'll add to it the element before it. Okay, so let me show you how that's working. Let me just copy this quickly. So this is my array in which I've uh, done this for each operation. And now what I'm going to do is I'll start from the first position and for each element, I'll just add the element before it. So what will happen? Let me just copy this and show you. So here. So if I just add the element before it, so 0 plus 2, it will be 2 and 0 plus 2, the element before it being added, so it will become 2 and 3 plus 2, it will become 5 and 5 plus 0, it will become 5, 5 minus 2, it will become 3 and 3 minus 3, it will become 0. So we get 0, 2, 2, 5, 5, 3, 0. And if you see, then this is what we had gotten by using our brute force technique. So we only got 0, 2, 2, 5, 5, 3, 0. And now with our technique, we have gotten the same result, 0, 2, 2, 5, 5, 3, 3, 0. And what I did was in each operation, I just did a of l plus equal to k and a of r plus 1 minus equal to k. So before seeing how this works, let's see the time complexity of this technique. So in each operation, I have... Uh, I'm doing nothing basically. I don't have a loop. So in each operation, we're doing nothing. So just O of P. So in each operation, we're doing nothing. So it'll just be O of P. And then afterwards, I'm using a loop outside the operation to just to add in each element, the element before it. So that will be O of P plus N. So right now, the time complexity we're getting is O of P plus N, which is way better than our O of P into N. So this is, a, this is just linear and that is O of P into N. So this is a significant improvement from O of P plus N. Now let's see how does the magic happen? How does it work? So let me show you. So suppose you have an array of nothing but zero elements. And here you add, here you just add something. Suppose you add five. And then you do this operation where you add in each element, element before it. What will happen? Everything will start becoming five, right? So everything will start becoming five. And that is what we want to do. We want to make everything K, but we want to stop. Where do we stop? We stop at r plus 1 because from L to r I want to add k. That is why at r plus first position I'm subtracting k. So if I make this as minus 5, then what will happen? So suppose it, it was like this, right? 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So I make the lth position as 5 and the r plus first position as minus 5. Then I just, I just do that operation where in a loop I just keep on adding the element before it. This will become 5. This will become 5, 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 but this will become 0. And that due to the result of that, everything after that will be 0. So successfully, we have done from L to R addition of K, 5 in this case. So what we're doing is we're saying A of L plus equal to K and A of R plus 1 minus equal to K in each operation. And then finally, afterwards, we're just using a for loop and we just keep on adding the element before it and the array which will be newly formed will be the array which we wanted to form and which we would get using brute force. It will look something like this. Like I said, we have the array which is nothing but zero initially. You can also take in the input and create this array. N is eight, the size of the array. And we're inputting the operations, the number of operation. And uh, then for each operation, while operation minus minus, I'm given L, R, N, K. And I'm saying a of l plus equal to k. And obviously, only if r is n minus 1, I can go to r plus 1. So if r is n minus 1, I'm saying a of r plus 1 minus equal to k. And then finally, I'm just doing that for i is equal to 1 and i less than an i plus plus, just saying a of i is equal to a of i plus a of i minus 1.
let's see and do the same thing we did to see if it's working or not so we had two operation like we did before first operation was one four and two and the next operation was three five and three and what we got was zero two two five five three zero zero which is what we're getting here as well so this is the code and the technique was quite simple for each operation just do a of l plus equal to k a of r plus one minus equal to k and then simply for each element add to it the element before it